Okay, we got the SIG P322 and a 25 round magazine. We're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the magazine, make sure there's nothing in it. Look in the chamber, nothing in the chamber. I'm gonna rack around here of a snap cap for you. And I'm gonna show you how to load these magazines the right way. Even, even the uh, popular uh, channels on YouTube and the so-called uh, gun experts, you know, and people that have, you know, big YouTube channels and stuff like that, whether it's law enforcement or uh, some guy that was in the military, a firearms instructor, they're all loading these magazines wrong. And even though they did it partially right, they're loading these magazines wrong. And I want to show you how to load them right. Okay. What you want to do with this is when you take your loader, when you take your loader, you're only going to pull down so that you can only get one bullet in at a time. And you're not going to do it like this because that's what some of the experts were doing. They were holding it straight up and down and just dumping them in there. You don't do that. You want to have it at an angle like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one round in at a time like that. And you don't want to go too far deep like this. That's what they were doing, some of the experts, okay? You want to only leave enough space so that another round can be put in like that. See that? And then let up on the spring for each one. Put it in, let up on the spring. Notice that the rim is touching the back there. This is the proper way to load it. Now, if you load any faster than this, that's why you're having problems on the range, okay? I've seen 20 or 30 videos now on this firearm where the guys are all doing it wrong on the range. They're loading it way too quickly. You have to earn your shots with SIG. This SIG-22 makes you earn your shots, which means there's no free lunch here. You have to, to work to shoot this gun by loading these bullets in. And, you know, with the magazines that I have, I'm almost tempted to hire somebody to load them for me because they do take a while. So that's something you can have your kids do for a job. You know, if you got 10 or 20 of these magazines, I've got nine of them. You can have them uh, help you load, get some experience knowing how to load a, a magazine the right way and uh, maybe give them something for it, you know, maybe a little allowance or something or I don't know. Um, but notice how I'm doing it here. And one of the problems that people say is that when they get to the 23rd round that they won't hold anymore, which is baloney. The reason why is because the loader is going to stop at the 23rd round, but you still have spring pressure that you can push to get the last two rounds in. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you here shortly. So once again, this takes a long time to load. So now, <laughs> now you know why I'm telling you guys that you're probably going to need an assistant or somebody to help you load this, these magazines when you're on the range. That'll give them something to do That'll give them some responsibility in life. If you have kids, you know, at least they have some chore to do and they have a way to uh, learn how to follow instructions properly. Because when you get a job, you have to do what they tell you to do, how they tell you to do it. And if you don't load a magazine like I'm loading here, then you won't qualify for the job. You know what I'm saying? So it teaches you life lessons too. It's not just about shooting guns and stuff like that. It's about learning how to do things the right way and have a little fun at the same time. So we're getting down to the, let's see what we got here, 23rd round, okay? Okay, now notice when I'm pulling down on the loader, it won't go any further. It stopped, okay? It's not going down anymore. So there's spring pressure that's still there. So what I'm going to do is there's spring pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I might even take this off to demonstrate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that down using that spring pressure. Okay, so that one's in. That's 24. And it might be off camera here for a jippy, so... And 25, okay. 
So now when this is loaded properly, you'll notice that the bullet is going to be flush with the top of this, the feed lips here. So it'll look like that. Um, if it's a little bit canted up like that, it'll probably still work. But, but when it's loaded properly, it's going to look kind of like this, kind of flush with the top here. And then notice the angle that the bullets are at the right, you know, the proper angle and stuff like that. This is how you can tell if it's loaded properly right here, okay? And then some guys like to do that cigarette box thing, you know, where you're packing your cigarettes or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, maybe I'll show you one more time. Here's the SIG P322. Uh, 25 round magazines in it right now. So that would be 26 rounds of 22 long rifle. So if you clean this and you lube it and you don't run this thing hot, okay, this thing can be used if you are carrying it at the, at the range or something and you have it in your holster or something, you're just going to the range, this can be used for self-defense. So this is something, uh, this is no joke. When you got 26 rounds on board and you can fire four rounds a second, I mean, that's one heck of a hornet's nest if you ask me. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys.